Hi everyone, I'm just getting set up for my live video. Hi Sandy. Oh good, I'm glad to see my iPad is working this morning. Okay, I just had to turn my volume down. So this morning, welcome everyone. It's early. I'm sure it's very early for some of you. Um, I just thought I'd chime in in the morning instead of at night. And I know a lot of you guys will be watching later on. So today what I want to focus on, um, I'm going to be showing you how I made this card. This is actually my uh, thank you card for all of my online customers that place orders with me. Each month I send everybody a thank you card and this is the one I'm doing this month. What's different about this is I'm using the Stamparatus tool so that I can uh, stamp this these images repeatedly. And I'm going to show you how to do that this morning. Um, I know some of you were lucky enough to get into the uh, Stamparatus ordering and I believe there's another batch going out next week. So that's just awesome. Okay, so for my card, I'm using Flirty Flamingo 11 by four and a quarter. Fresh Florals Designer Paper, two inches by four. Whisper White, four inches by three and a quarter. I've gone ahead and stamped and cut the um, sentiment I'm using. And the stamp sets I'm using today, the sentiment comes from Flourishing Phrases. And I decided I wanted to use Tranquil Tulips this month because this is a hostess set, which means um, it'll be gone once the new catalog starts up. This is one you can earn for free when you do a um, $150 order or uh, a workshop. For ink colors, I'm using Blushing Bride. Lemon Lime Twist and Flirty Flamingo. Now, I have the little strip going across here that I've embossed with the basket weave embossing folder. An easy way to do that, because this is half an inch wide, you don't want to have to emboss a whole bunch of these. So what I did is I, I did up a sheet uh, four inches wide. I embossed it first, and then I'm going to cut as I go with however many I need. I've gone ahead and cut a bunch of the Whisper White so I can show you how the Stamparatus works. And lastly, the punch that I used was the Tailored Tag Punch. So let me bring in my Stamparatus tool. Now, ours comes with two clear plates and they go on these two sides. And one tip about this, do not store this when you are done with it, with this on top, because this does not lay flat. You have to actually remove it, and then I just lay it on top. Another tip I have, I have uh, this box that I kept from one of our kits, and guess what? The Stamparatus fits perfectly in there for storage. So for now, that's what I'm using. A lot of our kits come in that size box. Okay, I'm going to show you how I set up this card. Um, one tip that I have when you're doing this is to do it on scrap paper first to make sure you get it right. That way you don't waste your card stock. So I've gone ahead and, and done an extra one. So I have the one on my card and this one. I wanted to use this as a pattern to show you how I did it. So we actually have one layer in the background, one layer in the foreground, and then we have the stem and the leaves. So I'm going to be using all four sides of the um, clear plates. Now I'm going to position this right over the first two that I did, upside down, and then this goes down and I'm just going to press and I'm going to show you now it's on my clear plate. So that's the first one. So this one was this way. Now I'm going to flip it over, put it back in, bring in my next two stamps. Push down. And those are ready to go. Now I'm going to bring in my second, and you can, 
leave that one there and then put this one here. But just for video purposes, so I'm not going to smack anything as I go, I'm going to do this um, by removing them. Now I have two stems. I'm not going to worry about, I'm just going to show you. These will run into each other because of the shape. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm not going to worry about the bottom portion. What I want to line up is where this is going to meet my tulip. Okay, so I want that one right there. I'm going to remove this. I know that the top is where I want it. And I want this to actually turn a little bit more this way. Okay, so I'm going to position that. It's probably not going to be exactly like this one, but just gives me an idea. Same thing on this one. Now this has the little bumpy thing on the top. That's going to go right below my flower. Okay, now I can adjust them. All I did was move this one over so that I could add the second one. I want them a little bit closer to each other. Just like that. Okay, and that's pretty good. Okay, so that's side number three. Now we're going to do side number four. So you can see, Brianna, I'm, I'm doing the, the leaves on a separate side. So I'm using all four sides. This is something you have to think about when you're getting ready. Okay, now I'm ready to stamp. I have a scrap piece of paper here underneath because I know when I do these two, I'm going to be going over beyond the cardstock and I don't want to get my foam dirty. Okay, so let's start out with the bold tulips. So I'm going to bring in my white, add a magnet. I'm going to turn this way so you guys can see. Now this is the Blushing Bride. Another thing that I have handy when I'm doing this is my chamois cloth that's wet. So I'm going to ink up these two stamps. And I just wipe if I get any excess. Push down over the tulips. Okay, and there's my first image. Now I'm going to remove this, flip it. Bring in the flirty flamingo. Ink that up. And again, I get some on my clear plate, so I'm just going to wipe that. Press down, and there's my detail of my tulips. Now I'm going to remove this. So what I would do, let's say I had 50 orders and I made 50 cards. I would do 50 and just keep changing out the white all in one color. Then I would switch to the next color. Okay, now we're going to do the stems. I'm going to ink that up. There's my stems. Flip this over. Now we're doing the leaves. I usually don't get that much ink on my on the clear plate. I'm doing this left-handed so you guys can see. And there's my leaves. So let me turn this over. So you can see that I've got one all done and then I would just keep going one color at a time. So that's how easy this is. Um, it's very good for, for mass producing or especially for lining up the stamps. You can practice on a scrap piece first and then uh, do the real thing on your, on your cardstock piece. So let me just assemble my card. 
I'm going to be showing more videos with the Stamparatus too because there are a lot of little tips we can show you. And I also feel that by inking on the Stamparatus, it's not as messy as when you're trying to, to um, do up the photopolymer stamps. You know how messy those can get. And if you guys didn't get in on the, the pre-order of this, um, it, the Stamparatus will be available June 1st in the annual catalog. I can't wait because a lot of people um, are falling in love with this tool. I can't remove this. This is one I did earlier and I removed the backing ahead of time. Now I can't get it off. Let me get another one. I put the backing back on and I must have put it upside down because I can't get it out. Okay, so that's my card for today. Just to show you a quick way of using this Tamparatus. Um, and like I said, if anybody places an order through my online store, I will send you a card for free along with some other goodies. And then don't forget to use the hostess code. I hope you enjoyed this. See you later, and I'll have another video tomorrow, so come visit me sometime tomorrow. I'll post that on my blog. See you later.